Nike 1000. I haven't been on much because I've been busy, very busy. I have to get all my parents' stuff out of their house at a certain time. So I am very pressured. Hopefully I'll get most of it out. And there's pretty much me that's doing it. Sometimes Shaber helps get the stuff off the truck when I bring it here, but um, he can't do a whole lot anyways, you know, because of his heart and I don't want him to. So he is trying to go up there tomorrow with me and we're, we're gonna get the bench to put in the garage. So I'm trying to get all the important stuff first and uh, money stuff. <laughs> So we can sell a lot of it. And after this is done, we will do a, I'm going to kind of do an estate sale up there. Instead of bringing all the furniture down here to my house and having to store it, not really having where to display it, I'm going to do a couple of uh, estate sales and hopefully I can get them in before things go south. Uh, I. They did a, they're trying to do a foreclosure on her house um, because they were in the hospital and they were in the nursing home that nobody could find them and I guess they served them papers and they were not done. And, uh, and she couldn't remember how many payments she's done and so anyways, it got all messed up. So we have talked to the them she does have a lawyer she's trying to save the house so we can reset we can basically sell the house and get something out of it um, she does have a mortgage on it so we'd have to pay the mortgage off but if she got enough just to build the uh, room that would really help because you know I'm not working very much and Shea Bear's not working at all and he gets his YouTube money, but that ain't a whole lot. And so we're scripting and saving and trying to deal with all of this on the same time. So, you know, it's not easy at all. So we're hoping to um, do an estate sale, probably in a week, I think. And the neighbors up there, we talk to them, and they want to kind of do a sale too. They have stuff they want to sell. So maybe the three of us do something. And because it's a gated community, you cannot have a an outside sale. You can't have people coming from inside, outside to inside, unless they have it for everyone in there. That's why I don't like gated communities. You can't actually do what you want to do. So I'm going to basically do an estate sale in there, but I figured I'd do it during the week because there's a lot of people that come in there that are working, you know, lawn people, UPS people, you know, just people that are coming in to visit. So maybe I can catch some of those people coming in without getting into trouble. So I'm going to probably do a couple of them and it's just basically going to be on the furniture. So hopefully we can sell most of it. I sold her dining table and I have sold a, ah, uh, it's kind of like a, I don't know what you call it. It's a sofa that lays down. It's leather. It's for, they had it on their back porch, kind of, lanai, for, uh, you know, if we had extra people come and spend the night from up north and stuff. So, it was leather. It was very nice. And a lady came and bought it, and she was quite happy with it. Um, she's got a salon in her home, and she's going to use it in there. So it's got little cup holders in it too. So I'm glad that it went to a good home and that she'll be using it. So anyways, here's an update on my garden, which Shaber has been showing videos of it. So you might want to go Shaber 1000 and you can watch his videos because he's been doing week by week on this. But I haven't been able to do hardly anything. So, um, But it's doing really well. I'm quite pleased. I'm going to show you. For the ones who have not seen Shaber 1000's videos and watches mine, so you can kind of see what's going on. We got grapes, we got all these little tomatoes, and it's doing very well. We've had a lot of rain, so and we got peppers back here, which are doing really, really good. And I think we're on our seventh week, I believe. And we got some in here that you can see. I think hopefully you can see them. And here we got some that are changing color, finally. Wow. So, Shea Bear showed me these yesterday. And there you go. We got color now. 
So that's a good thing. And then we got the big tomatoes down here, which I'm waiting for them to change color so I can eat them. Yeah, I see tomatoes and tomato sandwich coming with those. And we got one over here, which is doing really well. Yeah. So this is my first time doing like a garden garden. I think that cow manure did very well. And very well. I like it. I'm happy with it. It is getting really tall though. And he had to put this thing here. So we can, that came off the dog kennel that I had for a big dog that I had. Um, I finally got rid of her. She was just too much. She was too hyper. She was a good dog, but just too hyper for, for my liking. And there's some grape tomatoes in there, if you can see them. So, there they are. So, we're doing pretty good. Before you know it, we're going to have all kinds of tomatoes and we'll be eating them. That'll be lunch, breakfast, and dinner. Well, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> Anyways, oops. So today, I'm going to plant some sunflower seeds that are in this envelope right here. So, that we got from Will and Kim, and thank you very much for them. They look interesting, and I'm going to take some of these. I'm not going to show you their address, so on the other side. So, um, what I'm going to do now, Shea Bear and I kind of got a competition thing going because he's going to put his in a smaller container than I am. I am just going to load my thing up, which is full of water here, and I'm going to have to wash it and clean it up. And this is a big pot my mother had. And I got some, a lot of, um, I got a whole thing of uh, potting soil. So I'm going to put potting soil in there, and I'm going to put some of these seeds in there. And we're going to watch this one grow. I'm going to stick it probably over there by the, by where you see the sun there over there. I think that's the best sun. So, and Shaper is going to do his smaller. And we're going to see who gets theirs up and running faster. So you'll have to stay tuned with that one. And uh, I think it might take a little bit because I'm using a big pot. But I don't want to transfer. I ain't got time. So... I'm just going to put them in this and see how it goes. So, anyway, this is a little update on uh, what's been going on here. Uh, I'm trying to um, get paid to take care of my mom, which you can do. Um, but it's not going to be too much. It's uh, They're only offering me 10 hours. So, I'll get paid for 10 hours. To me, that's better than nothing. It might help. Help, help with some of the cost and stuff you know I mean now our food's uh, tripled you know our electricity's going up because you know I keep the air on and 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 stuff um, you got a bird over there sitting up in the tree I do love my backyard <laughs> so I haven't been able to enjoy it lately either well we've had a lot of rain tons of rain so which we need so Hopefully, we'll probably have a little bit today, this afternoon sometime. I don't mind rain every day. It keeps it a little bit better than 100 degrees. So the clouds are coming back. But I think that's where I'm going to put it because that's where I saw the sun come out. So I'm going to work on that today. And I will show you in just a few minutes after I clean that out. And I will get my potting soil back here and we will get it going. Here, I'm going to show you, see if you can see the little birdies in the tree. Way, way over there. Let me see if I can tune it in. I don't know if I can. If it'll go that far, maybe. Yeah, where's my bird house? And my bird feeder. There's the bird feeder. There he is. There's the birdie. Yeah, he's a pretty bird. There we go. Is that a woodpecker? It might be a red bird or a woodpecker. No, it's a red bird. Yeah. There he is. We have lots of those. He's a big one. He's fat. Yeah, nice and plump. Yeah, there's my 
Oh, it got one in the bird bath. Aww. He's cute. Yeah, he's having a bath. That bird bath I got from a patient that had to move back up north to live with their daughter because they couldn't they couldn't be here anymore. Um, they couldn't take care of themselves. They were in their 90s. They were lovely people. And she had this in her backyard. It was colored at one time. There was there is still a little bit of paint on it. I always wanted to paint it, but you know, it looks better without the paint. But <clears throat> I think it's cute little birdhouse. I mean birdhouse. Bird bath. <clears throat> uh, I'm so tired from doing all this stuff. But anyways, we're getting there. So, ah, the bird left. Oh, the other one's up here. He's still up there. Yeah. They're morning baths. Isn't that cute? No. Nah. Anyway, stay tuned. I'm going to clean this out and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. I kind of let it dry out a little bit. Got it all cleaned up. And I got my potting soil here. And we got the seeds. So, I was going to get Shaver to help me open this up. But he's tired. So, he's not feeling good. So, I'm going to open it up and we're going to put some potting soil in here and I'm going to put a few of these seeds in and we'll go from there. So, let me first put the potting soil halfway up because as you can see, this is a very big pot. Okay? I kind of wanted you out a little bit so you can see a little bit better. So, it's, it's quite a deep pot, but I mean, I thought sunflower seeds, you know, when they get big, would probably work pretty good in here and I can move it around for the Sun because I have mostly shade in my house so it's going to be very difficult to try to do these because they have to have full Sun so I'm gonna leave it here for now and that's where I get my Sun the most I think in the backyard and in the front it's pretty much shaded so it's not going to work in there so I'm gonna pour some of this in here and then we'll open up the envelope Okay, it does have a little bit of water. I was trying to get it all out as much as I could. So it's been raining and what it's doing, it's getting in the lip of the pot and it's not wanting to come out. <laughs> so, it'll be all right. I might help it a little bit, give it a little bit of water so, on the bottom here. So here, let's try to dump this over here as much as I can. Do this. There we go. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to put some potting soil. And just put it in there. Probably to the rim maybe. No, maybe to the rim here. There. It's a good thing I had this. It's like, yeah, great. I can use this. And... This all got fertilizer and stuff in it, so that's good. I'm gonna swish it in there. There we go. Okay. There you go. I think you can see it. Yeah, you can see. Hopefully, let's see. You can show it to you a little bit better. There we go. So now you can see most of it. Okay, so now I guess we'll put the seeds in there. So. Whoa. So we're going to open this up so you can see me now. There we go. And let's see what we got in here. Okay. Yeah. Oops. I'm trying not to show the other side. Okay. So, here we go. So, let's see what we got. Oh, okay. She's got them labeled for us. Very nice. Thank y'all. Make my life easier. There's some lemon ones. These are lemon sunflower seeds. 
And she gave us some chocolate cherry sunflower seeds, which I have never heard of. So I'll take a few of these and I'll put it on maybe one side of the pot and then take a few of the lemon and put it on the other side of the pot. I should label it too, so then that way I know what's which. And we'll see how well they do in this pot. I don't know how many I could put in there. Um, they're very tiny. They're a lot smaller than I thought. So maybe, maybe two, three. Maybe I'll do two on this side and two on the other side. Maybe that'll work. I don't want to overbear it. And I want to leave some for Shea Bear so he can do his video too. So, all right. Let's put this in here and see what we can do. Okay, I'm going to put the chocolate cherry. I'm going to put the chocolate cherry on this side. So, you know. Maybe, I think two or three. That would be the most. Because, it, you know, they may suffocate in here. I don't know. They're so tiny. They're very tiny. This is a very big pot. But I know they'll grow tall, so. You know. Put one there. Cherry here, chocolate cherry here, and then we'll put the lemon ones on the other side, and then I'll label them so I don't forget, and we'll see how well they do. And I might have really had to put them in a smaller pot to, to you know, for them to grow. They may not do well in this, you know. I don't know. Now we'll see. So I'll put two here. And then I'll put one right here. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. And that'll be it. never done this so it's a guess but I don't want to look it up and cheat either so because you know she beer is going to do his so okay so we got lemon on this side and we got the chocolate cherry on the other side so that's it for that I'm going to get some labels and I'll put the labels on and I'll be right back okay guys I think it's recording. Yeah. Okay. Ugh, you got my head too close. No, uh, no, 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 no. Okay, guys. So, what I'm going to do is I got straws. I was going to make a label, but, you know, paper, wet, rain, doesn't work. So, this one is going to be the chocolate cherry. I got a straw. I'm going to put it in, in the one side. And then the other one, I got a green one green straw and that's going to be for the lemon so I'll show you how I'd, where I'm putting this so you know this is a fair game and everything's good I hope you can see I think you can yeah there you go yeah. okay so we're gonna put this and I'll put it right here because the seeds are here and here I put the seed over here and I put the seed over here for this one. So I'll put it kind of in the middle. There you go. So there you go. I'm going to give it some water. So let me get my container and get my water going. And we'll show you how I'm doing that. Stay tuned. Okay, I'm back. I got my water and I'm just going to give it a little bit of water. I'm not going to give it a whole lot because it's supposed to rain this afternoon too. So. Just a little bit. And that's it. That's all I'm doing. Because if it rains, it's going to get more water and all that good stuff. 
and you know my mother's in there trying to tell me that um, sunflower seeds don't need a whole lot of water so so she says they can go both ways so anyways that's that for now um, and I don't have a green thumb at all Ooh, I hurt my back yesterday that's why I'm kind of trying to move around a little bit because laying in that bed is just not helping me so ooh, yeah I can feel it I had to lift a toolbox so and I had to take all the drawers out and the drawers were really heavy and I put them down on the ground and then I put the toolbox on there and then yesterday we had to to bring the toolbox down which is light once you take the drawers out it's not that heavy but it was heavier than I thought and so I brought that down and then we went back up there yesterday and my mom and I and um, I brought some of the, the drawers to go into the cabinet well I still have two more drawers there's eight drawers in that toolbox so it was his old toolbox before he got the big huge one that you've seen on Shaber 1000's um, channel. So, um, yeah, so, oof, I'm in pain. So anyways, um, so we brought that down. So I got two more drawers up there to bring down. I'm doing it all in my little truck, trying to save her some money. You know, we spent almost $1,000 just bringing down the, the car, the truck, because we had to do both of them separate. And, they, and then we had the other stuff, which they charged me more, which took more. But I kind of brought that stuff down. There was no way. So that stuff, you know, is worth having somebody else do. Uh, to get a moving company and stuff. I'm trying not to, to drown her money. So I use my truck, and every time I'm up there, I usually work up that way. So um, I go to work, and I have a patient not far from her house, so I pick up, my, pick up a load on the day I'm working and bring it down so I'm trying to bring a low down every day as much as I can because I want to um, you know I'll label all the furniture put prices on maybe I some people like prices on this stuff and then some people just leave it and let people you know come up to them and say hey how much you want for this so I don't know yet but we'll see so then that way people can walk in the house they can look at the furniture that and hopefully they'll buy it yes keep my fingers crossed because i really don't want to bring it down here and um i was thinking the next step on the ones i don't get to sell i might try a consignment shop um we have a couple of them that are not too bad and they'll come and pick up the stuff so that would help um, maybe put in consignment shop and maybe I'll have some luck there too so uh, but yeah it's been a very emotional time very hard on on my mother more than me uh, my father and I didn't get along too well so but he's still my father and um, you know I'm not glad he's gone I, I miss him I, I you know I look through all his stuff and he's touched this he's touched that and you know it's, it's all memories we have so many memories and good memories too I mean we had a lot of good memories so you know I'm, I was lucky very lucky um, you know that we had what we had so um, most people don't even get half of what I've experienced in my life so you know um, I've been very very blessed hard hard times but it will get past this and and like I told my mother you know once it's done it's done and then you can move forward and have your little room that you know watch it get built hopefully we'll be able to do that as soon as we get the money together with all this stuff we're selling so um, that'll help so and we'll get that get that going and um, you know if we have enough money where you know maybe I can hire someone to do the inside so Shea Bear doesn't have to um, you know it's been hard on him too because he's lifting the stuff off the truck when I bring it down and that's not good for him either so but we're getting most of the heavy stuff the heaviest thing we brought was the toolbox and the guy helped him push that I think in the garage as you've seen in one of his videos so um, that was that was probably the heaviest thing. Now I don't know about this bench. I, I told him, you know, you might want to cut it and 
cut it down but he doesn't want to he wants to keep it whole so um, we measured and it's going to fit where he wants it so keep your fingers crossed that we can lift this and bring it home because uh, it's going to go in the back of my truck so we're going to try to do that tomorrow i think so anyways that's it for now. Monkey says she's out for now. Y'all have a good rest of the week if you don't hear from me. But at least, you know, I am getting progress, but it's slow progress. And, um, you know, I'll be able to get some videos up probably in a month or so. Maybe some other videos. So, anyways, I'll, I'll kind of bring you along maybe through the, the sale a little bit. So you can see what's going on there. Alright. Bye, y'all.